a Target right now. The drive, um, the drive up, y'all. I just cannot like sit down. Like I'm in pain, but like for the most part, I feel okay because like I'm on my my pills. But like it just feel good to be like driving. Like I haven't been in my car in like over a week, so it feel really good. Um. I ordered some more stuff online because I feel like I wasn't going to be um, able to go out. I don't know if this is her or not coming for me. But we shall see. I don't think so. But yeah, so um, the girl was right there. I had wanted to do a little um, Christmas, extra Christmas shopping for Madison. So I got her um, some like her stuff, you know, like for Christmas and stuff. Because I know I'm not about to be able to, like, leave out or whatever. So, listen to me tomorrow. I ain't going to better leave out. But look at me leaving out. Y'all, I do not know how to sit down. What is wrong with me? Um, but, yes. And then, then I felt like we needed a few extra things, like, for the baby and stuff. So, like, I wanted a white warmer. I thought, um, I don't know why I thought I ordered one, but I didn't. Um, I'm so nervous too. I keep thinking about her. I know he's not a first time dad. This ain't our first time, but she just at home without me. Like, there's some bottles. I took her off the hospital bottles. Um, she didn't like the tummy tippies. She liked these. So I went ahead and ordered um, some more in pink. Some more for me to have. And then this white warmer, I know people are like, you ain't gonna use that or whatever. But y'all, like, that's the only time she cry when I wipe her. Like, she don't cry barely for a bottle. Like, she just be like, like, looking like she want a bottle. But she don't be crying for a bottle. Like, the only time she really starts crying real hard is when I put a wipe on her. And I think it's because they're so cold. So, this wipe warmer should do. And then, got her, like, a whole bunch of, like, little, like, clothes and stuff. Um... She tinier than what we thought she was gonna be. So I grabbed like a whole bunch of like newborn stuff. Um, you know, like newborn stuff like that, sleepers and stuff. And I really wanted this like sleep set because um that's what she's been sleeping comfortable in. So yeah y'all. So um I just don't know how to sit down. I need to though, y'all. But I feel okay. Like I'm driving, my stomach don't hurt. Um, what hurts is like when Trey used to drive over the bumps, and it's like, oh, yeah, I kind of feel it. Even I'm driving and I still feel it. Um, but yeah, so I'm not. But yeah, but I'm not never going nowhere and getting out. Like I literally got in my car. I'm doing drive through, drive up, pick up, and I'm going home. Like. Like, I'm probably about to stop at Coney Island and get some breakfast. But, um, like I said, I'm not getting out the car. That's the drive through so. And as soon as I get back home, I'm going to have Trey come outside. And he was like, I'll just go for you. But he been running around all week. Like, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like I've been just, like, tearing him up. And then not only that, I really wanted to come outside. Like, I haven't been outside since I left the hospital. But then even when I went in the hospital, I stayed in the hospital for three days. I don't know about y'all, but I'm the type of person, like, if I don't go outside um, enough, I start getting depressed. Like, I start feeling, like, sad, like I'm locked up or something. So, it's like, I left out December 6th to go in the hospital. I stayed in there for three days, and then I've been home ever since. And it's, like, what, December 12th? Like, I just, 13th or something? What is today? I don't even know. That's the crazy part. Um, But, yeah, like, I just wanted to get in my car and take me a ride. Um, but yeah, I miss her already. I'm just like, dang. She's doing really good, though. She's a good baby. Um, I am adjusting, though, to being a parent, to being a mom of two. It does feel weird, like, you know, like, just saying kids, like, my kids and stuff. Like, it just sounds weird. It just feel weird. Um. Yeah, so. Um, I'm happy that she's taking these bottles though um because yeah i'm happy she's taking those bottles because um those are the bottles that madison took and i love those bottles to me like so i wanted her to take them so far i'm feeling so good uh what am i like a week postpartum um yeah so far i'm feeling so good i'm feeling good and um 
I just, I, I think I'm just hard on myself. Like, I just be like, like, everybody be like, relax. Like, just chill. Like, Trey took off all this time. Like, he took off a lot, but he got, like, almost two weeks to go to work. Uh, he off from next week and everything. But it's just, I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. I just feel like me laying in the bed, it's not doing nothing for me. Like, I, I'm getting rest. Like, I'm getting my rest, but, like, me just laying in bed, I feel like I'm not doing nothing at all. And it's just, like, a headache, kind of, because it's just, like, dang. Um, I feel like I'm stiff when I just lay down. I don't get up and do nothing. I feel like I'm just, like, so stiff, like, you know. But I'll see y'all when I get back at the house. All right, so this everything that I had got from the Target drive-up. Um, cause I don't think I showed y'all everything in a car, but I already took these out. They, um, boiling, about to get sterilized, but I got these little, um, Avent bottles. These are the ones she liked. These are the ones Madison used to like as well. And then I got this wipe warmer, which I got plugged up in the room and it makes a big difference cause it's so cold at night and it's winter. Like this, I promise y'all, a lot of people say they didn't use theirs and it's a waste of money, but my baby love it. Like it's the best thing. So got a wife warmer i didn't want to um throw those away without showing y'all but i just got some other little stuff these little sleepers i went and got some newborn stuff because she's really tiny i thought she was gonna be bigger than what she was because madison was nine pounds but um then they told me i was measuring real big so i just got some newborn sleepers this one came with that so yeah just some newborn little like sleepers and then it has like the little um what are we gonna call it? Mittens. Then I got a separate pack of mittens right here. Cause I feel like all those little mittens we had so far, I don't know where that, what happened to them. So another pair of mittens. I thought this was so cute. It says little sister. So I think this is her first thing that said little sister. I got this in a newborn as well. Cause like I said, y'all, she's tiny. Yeah, like I said, she's tiny. Um, Got some more burp cloths cause you can never go wrong with those. And then I got some more sleepers because, like I said, it's winter. It's cold. She's only, what, a week old? So, like, we about to be in the house. Um, So, I got more sleepers. These are zero to three months, though. Um, Yeah. I wanted to get some more zip ones because I had a lot of, like, button-up ones. But I got that. And then I got a few sleep sacks. So, I wanted another one. I thought I got this one zero to three months. I got it three to six so it is so huge even though sleep sacks are supposed to be big like this but this one is like really huge i'm worried about like it might be too big around her neck but um yeah that was everything from target i did get madison some toys i think i'm gonna just show y'all i don't know if i'm gonna still do the what i got my kid for christmas video because like we got some stuff that's on its way still some stuff re arrived the day before christmas i just don't feel like you know and this is some of the stuff that I got in the Target drive up. They did forget one of the Barbies, not Barbies, it's called Mermaid style or whatever. But um, it will be shipped to me tomorrow because it wasn't in order. They was out of stock in the store. So I just had them to ship it to me, which was like overnight or something. So it'll be here tomorrow. But yeah, Madison is obsessed with these LOL dolls. So got her this one. Right there, this one is, what's her name? Lady Diva. But yeah, so she got this one. And then I thought this was really cute. She loved acting like she having like a tea party and stuff. But I always get her like the little fake tea parties and stuff from Dollar Tree. This is like the real one, like the real plates. Like it's kind of, I think it's like, yeah, ceramic. I was about to say it's ceramic. Um, I think she's going to love this. The tea um kettle is actually bigger. The ones from Dollar Tree is like so little. But every time we go to Dollar Tree, she get another little tea set. So she gonna love this, y'all. But then yeah, this one's but yeah, this one was from Target. Um, and then I also got her this Barbie. She already I mean this Barbie truck. She already got a Barbie car. Um, but I remember last time I was at Target, she kept saying she wanted the Jeep for them, so just got her the Jeep as well. But yeah, um, it's supposed to have been four toys, so they missing one, but I should have it tomorrow. And then I have a closet like full of stuff that I need to be wrapping, her tablet, like just all kind of little stuff. So um, I don't know if I'm going to do what I got my kid for Christmas video anymore because like I said, I still got some stuff that's not even here yet. 
Um, and I just hate doing stuff like that. I just want it to be like all together at once. But yeah. Today is Chloe's first doctor's appointment. So we are up currently about to get ready to go to the doctor. I'm about to pick her some stuff out, y'all. Since I've been home, this change table has been a mess, y'all. Like I've been pulling stuff out from her diaper bag or whatever. But anyways, I just said that because you see it in the in the back. But yeah, so we are about to go ahead and get ready for the doctor. She is six days old today. I told y'all when you had your baby, I don't matter how organized you be, it, it just get messy. Because look at this. But these are um clothes like I pulled out from her diaper bag from the hospital, all that. But I'm about to find her something to wear so that we can leave out. Here she goes. Say hi. She's slipping in, so I'm about to put her on some um clothes. Took a lot, but we in the car. All right, so we in here in her doctor's office. They told me to go ahead and strip her down so they can get her weight. I think she hot in this, y'all, though. So I don't know how good I'm gonna be doing with putting her in this, but we ain't coming outside after this really anyway. All right, so we are back home. The doctor's office went really, really well. Um, they said she was perfect, everything was good. So I was excited about that. I'm eating a grilled chicken salad. It's really almost gone, but I'm eating a grilled chicken salad. I've been trying to like kind of eat like, not healthy, healthy, but like we still been like eating out because of course, I can't like cook or nothing, so Trey been like getting carryouts, but still been like eating stuff like healthy salads and stuff. Here go Chloe right here. Um, I know y'all probably gonna say something about the blankets and stuff, but I'm literally sitting right here next to her, and um, she was a little chilly because we got the door open, but she in there knocked out. All right, y'all. So this is my breast milk that I pump. Um, and it's about a little over three ounces. You gonna say hi? Hi. Next, say hey. Yeah, this is the breast milk that I pump, y'all. This is from like one breast. Um, and it wasn't. It didn't take me long to pump it, but um, uh, yeah. So this is it. I'm about to put it in these little sample bags. I don't think I had to close. Oh, she's sleeping. We'll say hi to her in a minute. I'm putting in these little sample bags um, and freeze it. I'm going to pump the other breast too because I heard that breastfeeding make you lose weight. And I didn't honestly didn't think I would be able to breastfeed at all. Um, but milk is coming out. So I'm excited. She's still on formula and stuff. I haven't gave her none of the breast milk because this all I've pumped so far. Um, I'm going to pump some more though. Right now, I'm gonna put it in the bag. However, I do it, and then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna just sit in the refrigerator for now, and then see how much I can um, keep pumping. Yeah, I'm gonna just put it in this bag and see how much I can keep pumping. But y'all, I've never like. I never like pump and save breast milk before, so this is crazy. Yeah, so let's put this in here. And then I'ma put oh, it what? Where does you put milk in your pump? Yeah, this is breast milk. I like breast milk. You don't like breast milk? No. Which I was baby, I would try breast milk. Mm-hmm. Right, y'all. No, let's no. see if I can no. no. Pour it in there. No. 
Yeah, this is some Mommy, breast milk, huh? That's what we gotta get. Don't do it again? No. no. This is milk for Chloe. Oh, milk for Chloe. I thought it was pumped milk. It is pumped milk. Oh, She's no. so silly, y'all. No, 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 um, no, no. Yeah, so this I'm is... No. Um, I don't know if I did this right or not, because it say almost like five ounces on here. I don't know. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never really breastfed, but I did. I do remember the women say on TikTok and stuff, like, try to get all the air and out, air out and stuff. So, that's what I'm about to try to do. And then, close it up like that. Yep. So, this is my breast milk. Let's go. Now, let's see if I can pump more. This is my first time actually ever pumping breast milk, y'all. Hope I did it right, because it looks like milk is up here and stuff. I guess that don't matter. Oh, you're supposed to write, like, the date and stuff, but I don't know. We shall see. And let's just see if I can pump some more real quick. Okay. 